All right, well, I'm super excited today to share this with you. This is a guitar that I built in response to wanting an Uli Roth Sky Guitar. If you're a fan of Uli, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, now, my wife and I, we just could not agree that the $12,000 to $17,000, which is what they cost when I first wanted one, they're even more now, uh, we couldn't justify that expense. That's the cost of a brand new car back at the time. So, there's a closer look. And yes, there is a pickup underneath the fretboard, much like Uli's. EMG Actives Wilkinson VS100. This is a neck through. It goes to 30 frets in half steps, and the last three frets are in whole steps. So 30, 32, 34, 36. So we have a full three octaves. The, jo the joint on the body is at 24, fret number 24, or 23, looks like. Anyhow, <clears throat> I took my time and designed this with a pencil and paper on uh, just regular old white paper and mechanical pencil and sketched out the body shape. And it grew from there. By the, the time this thing took fruition, I had uh, done a blueprint of the neck on a CAD uh, designing tool with assistance, of course. Uh, but when it came to building this thing, I did all the workmanship myself. I cut every piece of wood, polished, sanded. Nobody did anything on here other than watch over me occasionally to make sure I wasn't going to cut my finger off using an unfamiliar tool, which I appreciate, Mr. Allen. Thank you very much. So this guitar has a neck through, which is made out of African mahogany. The fretboard was made by Allen Fretboards. I ordered it, it costed $80 at the time. I had it custom slotted this way. They had to create tooling for me because nobody does this. This was a freaky thing. So it is excellent ebony. I have an unbleached bone on there. Now I bound the neck. There's no binding anywhere else on the body, just the neck. I did a sort of a cream colored binding along the entire neck. It has EMG pickups in it. They're coil tappable with a pull of the pot. This one's coil tappable. You don't need to coil tap a single. Anyways, <clears throat> this single is butted up against the underneath of this ebony fretboard, which was a quarter of an inch. So it'd be a quarter of an inch thick at the very middle. On the edges, it's not. So anyhow, those screws press against the bottom, and these are not screws that'll dig into wood. They have a flat bottom, so they'll just naturally push as I screw. You know, I could pop the fretboard off if I screwed these down too hard. So that's a little bit of a dangerous feature if you were going to manufacture this. You'd have to address that so the user could not do that. Um, so anyhow, it does work fine. I'm going to do a demo video later, not all today. The beautiful thing about this guitar, I feel, is the Carina wood. So, you know, if you've ever done a neck through, this side is glued to a core, and this side is glued to the core, and you use locator pins. So these are called the wings, right? All the way up here. No, I'm not doing the devil sign. <clears throat> And this is white limba underneath. I airbrushed it. This is all nitrocellulose lacquer, clear coat. Did all the wet sanding and buffing and all that by hand. Didn't use a buffing wheel. Um, so airbrushed the color. There's a shellac base, there's grain filler. I did, I did the full reading and research on this before I attempted anything. I pressed the frets in, there is white diluted tight bond, tight bond underneath these frets that were pressed in with a drill press and an appropriate call that I got from Stu Mac. As I said, ebony fretboard, traditional truss rod. I had to create a jig, um, curved um, fillet to glue into the neck and a route that was actually a what do you call a concavity, a concave shaped route. And then we have the uh, Grover tuners, kidney bean, I think these are called. I love them. And the sunburst pattern exists everywhere on the back. Now let me see if I can't do this gracefully. I need to get this out of here without damaging anything. All right, here we go. 
So on the back of the headstock, there is a volute. The gold to white to sky blue motif exists everywhere. This was the carve I did at the time. So it's a very comfortable transition and keep in mind by the time you even get there, you're at fret 24. So uh, jumbo frets, I did the fret work. No, they don't cut your hand. There's the binding. And uh, let me put it back up here. Just for kicks, thought to have to, the power of the dark side here, the blue lightning. So, <clears throat> oh no, people are going to think I'm